In this segment of Frame, I continue our visual tour of exquisite residential architecture in the corridor. This time, we're in Cedar Rapids, but joining me again is realtor and eco-broker, Linda Thrasher. Linda, thank you for joining me on Frame. Thank you for having me once again. I really enjoy this. Absolutely. We had so much fun in Iowa City, I thought we'd continue our conversation and visual journey in Cedar Rapids, and one of my favorite areas, and that's the southeast side of town. I would have to agree, this area of town is just beautiful. You've got homes with all kinds of character. You're not going to find a typical cookie cutter home at all in the southeast side. Mature trees, parks, just this is really the heart of the city, I feel. Lots of charm, lots of style, which we're all about. So let's take a little walkabout, shall we? And join us for this really exquisite visual tour. This one to our left is really fascinating because I call it the hybrid house, but it I need to tell us about it. I would actually <laughs> agree with you that this is definitely a hybrid house. The fascia has so many different views. You've got more of the traditional English over there with the bay window and the copper roof. And then you've got a Juliet balcony there that could also come off as um, plantation style, mm -hmm. um, especially with the fan uh, up there. And then over here, you've definitely got the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright craftsman feel uh, of architecture above the garage. So it's, it's quite an interesting house, but you know, it all works very well together. It really does. And they tied everything together with that black wrought iron, yes. the ornate detailing from yeah. the outside lights, the exterior lights all the way around, and then the balcony, um, balcony and the front fencing yes, area all too. All the way down to with the railing as well. So you just, it, your eye just follows that and it you don't miss anything and it doesn't look choppy at all. It's just a really beautiful example of combining different styles and making it work. This home behind us is a wonderful, clean, well manicured example of the Tudor style. And again, you've got the pitch of the roof line, you've got the nice little doorway and the detailing on the stucco mm -hmm. area, which is reminiscent of old school Tudor homes mm -hmm. in Europe. And the windows again are set correctly and it's just a really clean beautiful hot pocket. I love the little porch up front and I love how they incorporated the limestone. It's just really well done and yes. it's interesting that the you call them the hashtags is it? Yeah. Are not as high contrast of a color as we've seen mm, before. No. I really like the subtleness of, of how they incorporate yes, it. Yes I think the they really detailing. wanted to bring out more of the detailing in the limestone and, and really and and they did a really good job of that and it just flows well with the rest of the color of the home. It's not, it doesn't take away from it at all. No. Let's round out our conversation of yes. styles with this beautiful mid-century mid modern. modern. Yes, clean lines throughout. 1950s is about the mid-century modern home. That's when they came out or the atomic ranch as people called it. Sturdy, well-built homes with lots of light and just great use of lines and no space was left unused. You've got the brick, you've got the woodwork fascia, so you're encompassing several parts of nature into the home mm -hmm. and just the really clear, clean lines that you would also see in a craftsman style home. I love how they incorporated nature all around. Yes. It's just, it seems very indigenous to the environment. It really does and it really, do, it, it works with its space instead of against it and that's what I really like about that. Yes. We've climbed a hill to show you this architectural treat. It is actually a very contemporary design, but it's a special design, which is called Bauhaus. Well, this style of home is from the 18th century, actually, and it rebelled against the Victorian style of home. It's a smaller footprint, and the actual fascia and the exterior of the home is reminiscent of a cruise ship. Like the love boat. I'm just kidding. Like the love boat, but more the classic old, like the Queen Mary, you know, the real large, great Titanic style cruise ships. With very simple lines, very clean, and there's the silo feature. Which would be the pipes of the, the engine of the cruise line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's beautifully decorated with the aluminum siding, including these water spout drains mm -hmm. and the ornamental grass is a great accent for it because you don't want to distract from the lines and that really gives it an accent as well as keeps in step and taste with our prairie lands. Yes, and the movement in the grass really just draws your eye towards the architecture of the home as well. Fun piece.
Frame is sponsored by Allegra. Click Marketing Solutions. OPN Architects. Style Folio Jewelry.